Hello, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. Hey, you know, I get lots of questions about TC2000. I've been a user of the software for, oh, years and years and years, well over 20 years. And it's made a lot of changes, a lot of improvements over the years. And what I wanted to share with you is a few of the tips and tricks that um, you may not know that are there to might help you improve the way you use the software and get more out of it. So let's get started right now. <laughs> So, hey everyone, when we talk about TC2000, we all know this is a very sophisticated piece of software and there's lots of settings and lots of things that you can do with it. So I wanted to share a few of the things that I get questions about all the time and help you maybe get more out of your software. So one of the first things that um, I want to point out is you have the ability to adjust how your chart looks considerably. As you can see, I've put a couple indicators here on this chart. And I don't use much for indicators, but as you can see, um, I put them on here. And one of the reasons I do that is because it helps me adjust the way my chart appears rather than having it spread out over the entire screen. I can adjust it around a little bit and um, to manipulate how that chart looks just a little bit. Also, if you notice, they're very, very difficult to see. Right here, you see that little um, gray triangle right there? If I hover over the top of it, I turn into this little double arrow and I can adjust um, the up and down of that chart, how, how much space there is to the top of the chart. So I usually pull those down personally. I don't like to see my charts running off the top of the screen. So I pull that down just a little bit. If you notice, there's another arrow right here, that little arrow, and I can do the same thing to the bottom side. I can adjust that up and down. And again, I don't like to see my charts kind of running off of the, the bottom of the screen. So that kind of truncates the candles just a little bit and makes it a little bit easier to see and to read. The other thing I do is right here, there's another little one of those gray triangles. And you can see I can move the chart back and forth and determine how much space I want to the hard right edge of the chart, which is really handy watching a chart develop. It really is kind of a pain um, if you're trying to watch a chart and it's pushed clear over against the hard right edge. So I usually pull that back a little bit, give it a little bit of room. Um, so that I can see the price action clearly. Um, by the way, you also have those little triangles right down here. If you wanted to adjust how your volume appears, you can adjust that up and down. Um, also off of the bottom, you can adjust that. And <clears throat> the same thing is true with really any indicator that you put on the chart. So another major question that I get all the time is these drawing boards. There are all these drawing boards over here that you see on my chart. And normally when you open up TC2000 for the first time, they may not all be there. You may just have a single drawing board. If you wanna show more drawing boards, what you wanna do is you wanna go over here to your tools menu Click on tools, click on system settings, and then we're going to go <clears throat> over here to charts. If you click on that charts tab, it said there's a little check mark right here that you can add. It says include extra drawing boards. Now, when you click on that, it won't immediately show up here. You click on that and, and uh, to save it. And then you have to restart your software and then all of your drawing boards will show up over here. Kind of a handy little feature to know. If you also notice up here at the top of my screen, I have right here across the top 15 minute, hourly, four hour, daily, weekly, and monthly. And that means I can just click right through here and move to all of those different time frames of a chart and they're just listed right across the top of the screen. Well, you have the ability to set whatever ones you want right here on this settings. So you can show these um, time frames, 15 hourly, four hour, whatever you want to show, and then just have a really quick, easy, 
point and click to get you where you want to go um, on your time frame of your charts. Very, very handy. I highly recommend everyone do that. Also down here, notice you can, you can set a default for how you want when you create a new chart, how you want that to come out so you don't have to mess around with all the settings every time you um, create a new chart. So just a few things there that are kind of handy. Also over here on alert notifications, please take note that on alert notifications, you have the ability in here to set alerts and, and change the, um, the sounds in which um, you'll get an alert and a pop-up message when an alert comes along. So I do recommend you set those um, because it, it's really, really handy to have kind of a default setting in place. Another question I get all the time is about the toolbar. If if I go to a, a chart, let's say if I go to Microsoft and I open up a Microsoft chart, you can see I have this up here. It says earnings date and when the next earnings date is coming. Now, that's a relatively new feature to TC2000, but very, very handy. So let me show you how to do that, how to get that. So first thing what you want to do is just right click up here on, this is called your toolbar. Right click on your toolbar and click edit tool, toolbar. And that will open up a new window that you can see all the different things um, that you can do with your toolbar. So you can see you can have multiple lines and you can add additional rows. If I were to click this, I will add additional rows with these items in those rows on my toolbar. If I click OK, you can see all of this new data shows up in my uh, toolbar up here. So you can add virtually anything, but I wanted to show you um, another thing with this. If we open this back up and let's say I wanted to um, add something to the toolbar and all you have to do is just click this plus button click that plus button and start typing what you want to put in here it can be a you know uh, well here's the list I mean it's it's more things than you could shake a stick at if you want the earnings calendar up there all you do is is start typing um, earnings date and it will pop up in there. You'll click on that and add that to your toolbar. I also want to notice, point out that when you add something to your toolbar, I want you to notice that you can edit how that appears. So you can see I've, I've, um, Mine up here is, is very, very big. And notice that I've set the font of this at 16.5. I give it a, a text color here and so it just stands out really nice and bright you can set the background and all the different things that you want to do um, for that and um, whether it's visible or not uh, in your toolbar so really really handy to be able to add those items to um, to your uh, toolbar that makes it really really easy to identify those things and by the way any one of these any one of these items can be um, adjusted here to to show it in any way that you would like to so if you're looking across the top of your toolbar it's too small a font or something like that you can change that very easily um, by just clicking on the item that you want to uh, you want to change and then adjusting that uh, that's that font um, in there so you and by the way you can do bold and italics as well really really handy tool to have another thing that you might notice is if you look right here when you're looking at your chart you might see this uh, microsoft symbol it might be very very small or a little bit hard to um, hard to see because of a color um, if you come right up here to that microsoft symbol and right click on it and say edit field notice that you can change the font size and you can change the color of that symbol up here whether you want it to be bold or italic um, that helps you adjust that toolbar um, up here so it's easier for you to identify easy for you for you to see and choose any color you want very customizable 
Um, from here, let's let's take a look at a couple other things. Now, I've already shown you how to kind of move things around, but I haven't shown you. Let's say um, let's say you have something tabbed across here. You can see I've got a scan right here tabbed in this area, and I really don't want that scan there. I'd rather have it over here um, on the side. So all you have to do to remove that from here is right click and say undock. When that undocks, it floats it into a new window. And now you can you can make it a, a, a window that you can slide over to a new screen or you can move its location. And I'm gonna click this little icon right here. It says move window. And I'm gonna choose this down arrow right here. And I'm gonna place that scan right here at the bottom slide that over to adjust and then go back to my chart right here so now i have two scans on this side and i can adjust how they appear and look and i can sort through these lists very very easily and it's pretty darn handy uh, to have that and remember all of these windows are are you can size anything in here how you want that to appear um, left and right up and down um, pretty pretty handy to do now one of the things that um, I used to do a lot, I don't do it so much anymore, but it's really, really handy, is to have a secondary uh, screen in here. Let's say you want to watch the um, the SPY during the day, but you want to watch it on a short-term time frame, say maybe a 15-minute chart. But um, let me show you how to do that. I'm just going to click on charts, whoops, and on charts, and then I'm going to click blank chart open this up and you can see this is defaulting to a 10 minute I need to change that default I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a 15 minute chart and you can see that the price action of the chart is um, all green um, maybe I don't want that maybe I want something else and maybe I want to change how this chart appears so I'm gonna go ahead and and take this chart I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna say edit the chart properties and I'm gonna make this a, um, a maybe I'm gonna make this a black background chart okay and so want to uh, make sure I have all of these settings you may want to remove the watermark on a little chart it's a little distracting and get rid of those value lines and things like that to clean up the chart however you want to manipulate that um, that'll work um, uh, really really well to do that and so now we have a 15 minute chart here um, on Microsoft and let's say um, Microsoft isn't what we want. We're going to change this to SPY. And I want to show you something when I do that. When I change that symbol to SPY, it also changed this chart, background chart, to SPY. That's not what we want. We want this to be a static chart and remain the same all the time, no matter what we're doing in our main window. So to fix that problem, if you look right here, this little blue square, it's called a symbol link. And when you click on that symbol link, you can actually link charts together by a specific color if, if you choose to. So when you change one symbol, all of the charts with that color all um, change, okay? So I'm gonna click not linked here gives that little gray and notice that when I do that now I could I could change this to uh, back to Microsoft and this chart stays exactly the same it doesn't move around okay now let's say for example I want um, this to be docked um, in a different place obviously I don't want it floating out here in the middle of my main workspace so I'm gonna move it over and if I click right here click that icon again and I'm gonna stick it right up here at the top and I'm gonna adjust this however you want that to be and I'm gonna make sure and adjust these symbols so they're not running off the top or off the side and now I have a 15 minute chart um, of the SPY that ticks along here and stays stays um, 
um, right here in um, in front of me so that I can watch what's going on in the overall market very, very quickly, very easily. Um, it's easy to spot. It's easy to see. And of course, you have the ability to make any marks or drawings on this chart. Just open up your drawing board. You can do anything that you want here um, to draw up this chart. So that's available to you. And, you know, obviously you can do um, lots of different things. You can see I've got the candles all set to green. Maybe you want the candles to be something different instead of um, one color. Um, um, let's go and uh, net change and leave, make the colors red and green. Um, you can do that as well. So lots of things that you can do here to um, adjust and manipulate this chart. If I go back to edit chart properties and you can see that I, instead of all black, maybe I want something like um, blue, but I want to um, gradient with a black. So I can click on the gradient and change the way that looks, that appears in your chart. And um, just anything that, that helps you highlight and see what you want to see um, in, in, that, um, in that setup. Okay, now under plot style, of course, you see we have the candlestick set that you can also go straight into the plot style. And notice right here that I have um, this checked. This check right here says show yesterday's clothesline. And so right up here, you can see this line that's showing up. That's yesterday's close of the market. And if I wanted to add in show today's open when the market reopens you can see this line right here showed up as the open for um, uh, for this day um, that's showing and so there was yesterday's close this was yesterday's open obviously a gap down in the market and so you can put those <coughs> uh, those symbols on there and change those colors to whatever you want let's say we wanted to change that to there maybe we want it just to to be um, a straight line and 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 maybe we don't want um, any opacity setting we're just going to make it 100 so it's a very bright and clear we'll go ahead and change this one to a line and remove that opacity setting make it up to 100 and so now we see where that open is so you can adjust those however you see fit and um move through there so pretty darn handy to uh to have um this um, check mark, mark right here, this is your bid ask. <clears throat> the market is closed right now, so this isn't showing up. But you can, um, if you'll notice right over here, just a second, right over here in the chart, see that little light blue line or blue arrow right here that's showing that bid ask here on Microsoft now I want you can see that's very hard to see so maybe I want to change that what if I change that to a red color and leave it at a hundred percent on here and that will change that icon when you um, reopen your chart it'll change that so it's not that light blue color so pretty handy um, can be um, pretty useful um, when you're looking at your chart so by the way um, what I just did here right here is I changed this to red and it will show up on this chart because that's the chart we're working with let me let me do um, this one right here. Just go to um, right click and click um, edit your chart properties and you can see I can change this one right here to the red and it'll immediately show up. It can, It's not gonna show up on an intraday because the market's not open. So right there's that bid ask. Pretty easy to identify then and makes it really easy to see. Um, by the way, you can reach all of these chart properties very, very simply by coming right up here to this little chart icon. Click on that and reopen all of those chart properties. Really handy and you can kind of click through um, what you want to do um, in your chart. So color and grid, if I want to get rid of all of those 
uh, little background lines, they now disappear. Or if I want to adjust them up, you can see that I can darken those background lines up very easily. Kind of handy to use. Um, drawing tools. Drawing tools, um, one of the things that I always struggled with um, w when I was new to TC2000 is I, is I would draw a trend line and it's almost impossible to draw a trend line and get it perfectly straight. You know, you try and it, you just can't get it perfectly straight. If you draw a trend line, here's a neat little trick. If you hover over one end of the line with your mouse you can see it highlights right there hold down your shift key hold down your shift key and click your left mouse button that line will draw perfectly straight <clears throat> or straighten up also if you want to extend or move that line if you hold down your shift key and drag that out you can see you can keep that line perfectly straight no matter where you drag it to by holding down your shift key at the same time. Um, pretty darn handy to use to um, put those trend lines on your chart and adjust things. By the way, if you don't know, um, if you right click and click edit on any line, you can now adjust your line thickness on the chart. You can put on extensions where it will take this line and extend it to the left and right so that you have extensions and they can have a different color as you can see you can see where you've drawn the line and what the extensions are showing you that's kind of handy and um, obviously you can change the color of your lines um, at any one time and you can once you adjust where you want that line um, thickness to be or whatever then you can click set as a default and every time you draw a line it will stay the same all right and you can do that with any of your drawing tools if you pick out a drawing tool let's say you want to use Fibonacci and you draw a, your fib on here again right click edit okay and you can see on your fib tool you have the ability to adjust all the different settings that you use in your fib tool Okay, you can add extensions to that fib tool, whether or not it shows price values. And again, you can adjust its thickness and color and set whatever you want as a default. Pretty darn handy if you use the fib tool or any of the drawing tools. Very nice little feature to have. Okay, let's um, take a look at adding a new chart and a new way that we can look at a chart. Once again, I'm going to go over here to charts and I'm going to click a blank chart. And <clears throat> let's say I want to compare, let's go to a daily. I'm going to go to a daily here. And actually, I'm just going to add this to my list of charts up here across the top. So I'm going to click this icon open up the target mode and then just say tab it right here so now this chart <clears throat> shows up right here in my list I can switch back and forth very quickly between these charts but I don't want the chart looking like this let's say I want um, something different so I'm gonna go up here to this little um, icon open up the chart properties or again you can right click edit chart properties and get to the same menu um, I'm going to remove those grid lines I don't want those grid lines on there and I'm going to make something uh, make an adjustment here on the chart right now my plot style if I click on plot style is as a candlestick I want to change that maybe I want that to be just a line chart now I'm going to show you why I'm doing that and I'm going to change that plot to uh, let's do something um, nice and bright here kind of a pink color and um, in that process, while I'm doing that, I'm going to set my color and grid. I'm going to make this a black background chart. Whoops. And my plot style changed. Color automatically. There we go. <clears throat> so now I have just a line chart of Microsoft. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, a couple reasons. Um, maybe you want to compare 
what Microsoft is doing to um, based on the the rest of the market. So we know Microsoft is is in the Nasdaq. So what if we compare Microsoft with a Nasdaq? I'm going to once again right click and click Edit Chart Properties, and I'm going to go to Comparison here. And you can see I've got diamonds, QQQ, and SPY. You can add up to 10 symbols in here and give them a specific color and compare your current chart to them. So I'm going to click that and add that. And you can see what I've got on here is Microsoft versus Microsoft versus the overall NASDAQ index. Now, I don't have to have Microsoft, obviously, as a line chart. If I want to go back instead of a line chart, I can turn that back into a candlestick. And I probably don't want that color for a candlestick. Maybe just go to all white or something like that. But as you can see, what I've got going on here in this chart, now I can can compare how Microsoft is working against the SPY. I'm going to truncate that just a little bit. Adjust that. And of course, you can add any other indicators on here. But you can see how handy that is to see how Microsoft is performing against the overall market. And you can add different comparisons that you might want to this and then always keep it. Now, if I wanted to see um, what uh, Netflix is doing. Oops. There we go. If I wanted to see what Netflix was doing um, compared to that, it will stay, this chart will stay just like this. So you can make those comparisons uh, back and forth on how a stock is working against a specific index. If I went to Merck, you can see very quickly here that Merck, and I've got a lot of drawings here on Merck. Let me remove those. You can see Merck is way outperforming the NASDAQ. So hey everyone, with that, I am going to finish up this video, kind of keep it short. Hopefully you got some nice tips and tricks out of here, things that you can do to improve your use of TC2000 and your ability to get around and view the market the way you want to view it. So with that everyone, take care, have a great day, and never give up on yourself. Always keep digging and pushing harder um, to improve your skills as a trader. And I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Take care now.